All right, today we are going to be looking at the second part of 4.4. So you don't have to write down all this information if you don't want to. Just at the top of your notes, go ahead and write 4.4 continued or 4.4 day two. Small reminder, when you have your equation in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, you can find your slope, you can find your y-intercept, which allows you to make a graph. So what we're going to be doing here today is what do we do when we have an equation that is not in slope-intercept form? First of all, if you see an equation like this, which is called standard form, you cannot say m and b. You have to do a little bit of pre-work. So our goal is to do some inverse operations that will allow me to get y is equal to, and then I can figure out what my slope and my y-intercept is from that. So there's really only two things that you need to do. So write this down at the top, please. Step one, move the x. Step two, divide. Step one, move the x. Step two, divide. So if you notice, you have an x here, which is really a 1x if you'd like to put the 1 in front of it. I need to go ahead and move that to the other side. So I'm going to use my inverse operation and move the whole item over there. I'm going to do that by subtracting 1x or subtracting x on both sides. In doing so, this now gives me another form of my equation, which starts with 2y equals. Now, my 6 and the negative or subtract x, those are unlike terms. Please do not try and put those together. That is a common mistake for some students. So you're going to write 2y equals negative 1x or negative x plus 6. So I'm going to go and put the little 1s there to help us out. So I've got a little 1... There you go. So first step is complete, move the x. Second step is divide. Now the item or number that I'm going to divide by is the coefficient of y. If you remember, I want to get y equals. Currently I have two y equals. So in order to change it up, I have to divide by the given two. So it should show up there as well. There we go. So everything divides by 2. So the y, the x, and then the number at the back. If you do that correctly, it'll now be your new form of y equals. So I'm going to get y is equal to, and then I ask, can I reduce or simplify my fractions? So for the x, I have it as negative 1 over 2, which means I can't simplify it, so I leave it alone. But the 6 over 2 at the back, yeah, I can simplify that. So I now have y is equal to negative. Now you can put the negative sign at the top with the 1 or in the middle of the fraction line, just never at the bottom, please. y equals negative 1 over 2x. And then you got a simple plus 3. Now if you have it in this form, you are now allowed to do your m and b. Again, you cannot do your slope or y-intercept until you have it in slope-intercept form, which was like yesterday's work. All right, now that it's ready, let's go ahead and briefly graph it. Again, I'm going to start out on my positive 3, so I'll give you a moment to make a quick sketch. So quick sketch again, and then I'm going to go ahead and plot my first point at 3. Then my slope again is down 1, right 2. So I'm going to count it out. Down 1, right 1, 2. Put your point. Then do it again, down 1, right, 1, 2. So again, I have my locations, my ordered pairs, if you want. The middle one is at 2, 2. My far right one is at 4, 1. I am allowed to go ahead and put my line, my arrows, and my original equation. And that's key with this section and any section beyond is you're going to use your original problem, please. 
All right, let's try this next one. Now, although this one looks like we could possibly do our intercepts, we're going to practice our slope intercept form, which again, it means move the x and then divide. So I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. Now remember, the 10 and the 2x, you can do nothing with that. So leave it alone, please. So I'm going to go ahead and write it as negative 5y. So make sure you're careful of the negative sign. Equals negative 2x plus 10. Now remember, after the equal sign, it goes the x part and then the constant number part. Now if you forget the negative sign on the 5, you're going to be making some big mistakes. So let's be careful there. Everything gets divided by negative 5. There we go. This means y is going to be equal to a positive, because a negative 2 divided by negative 5 is a positive. Now, I cannot reduce that. And then at the back, I got a positive divided by a negative, which would be a negative, and I can reduce that. So I now have this new equation. Now I'm going to remember that if I have a positive slope, which I do right now, it's going to be an uphill line. So that means when I make my graph, it better be going uphill. So much drumming. All right, let's make our quick sketch. So starting out, again, on my y-intercept, which is going to be identified, which already did, as negative 2. And then, let me make it a little bit brighter. Maybe. We're going to go up 2, right 5. So go up 1, 2, and right 5. So it's going to be here. Then I'm going to do it again, up 1, 2, right 5. Now, if you wanted to, you could be trying your backwards thinking again. So instead of up and right, I would be going down 1, 2, and then backwards is left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, if you do that correctly, it still has to line up with all the others, which means when you make your line, it would still be on the line. But the backwards counting could really help you out, especially if your coordinate plane is not a full coordinate plane. I believe some of your homework problems, you're only going to have a part of the coordinate plane. So the backwards counting could really help you out. And then the original equation. All right, let's try again. This one here, if you notice, the intercepts would not work because the 4 wouldn't work with the 3x, even though it works with the y. So let's go ahead and practice again our two steps. Move the x, then divide. Move the x, then divide. So subtract 3x on both sides. Now remember, on the far right, you cannot combine that. So please make sure you are careful. So I now have a negative 2y is equal to a negative 3x subtract 4. And then again, going to divide. So move the x, then divide. Move the x, then divide. It's just the same step over and over again. You're going to be practicing it for a lot of days. Everything gets divided by that negative 2. Again, be careful of that negative sign. Now, my y part is just going to become y equals. My x part, negative divided by negative, is a positive again. 3 over 2, I cannot reduce, but I am going to have an improper fraction, which means it's going to be a little bit of a steep line, steep hill. And at the end, I got a negative divided by negative, which is another positive, and I can reduce that. So 
So when you're ready, let's do M and B and then a quick graph. So again, it's going to be an uphill line, starting out at positive 2. Then my slope tells me to go up 3. So again, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3. I'm at the 5 now, and write 1, 2. Repeat the process again, up three, one, two, three. I'm at the eight, right, one, two. Now, depending on your coordinate plane, again, this would be a perfect one to practice the backwards thinking. So starting here at your y-intercept, instead of up three, I would count down three. One, two, three. I'm currently at negative one. And then instead of right, I would go left, because again, I'm doing backwards or opposite thinking. Left, one, two. And if I do it correctly, that backwards thinking should line up perfectly with my line. And it's on the line. Beautiful. So what I need to do now is put my original problem. Now remember, on your quiz, once you make your line long enough, it should touch one of the letters on the outside over here. So it'd be really low. Or maybe the letter would be up here. Regardless, it would touch a letter, and that would be your answer, A, B, C, or D. All right, go ahead and pause the video, please. Pause the video. All right, and welcome back. So what you have now in front of you is your worksheet. You should notice at the top section, there is no graphing involved at all. All you're doing is practicing your two steps. Move the X then divide, move the x, then divide. And if you notice, there's not a lot of room available here. So what I'm going to suggest you do is you do it either on the back of the worksheet or you do it on a separate piece of paper and then staple it together. You want to make sure you have enough room. So the requirement is you're going to do the top section on the back of the worksheet or on a separate piece of paper. Again, practice move the x, then divide, please. Then when you're ready for the bottom section, you're going to do your graphing. You're going to do it just like we did before on the previous assignment. But again, you're going to have to do the work. So make sure you are showing your work probably on a separate sheet of paper by now. Move the X, then divide. Find your M and B, do your graph. And again, if you do your graph correctly, it should hit one of these letters. So you know what, let's go ahead and do that really quick. So find a spot for your work. Uh, I will help you out really quick. So move the X this time, I'm gonna use addition. So I have two Y is equal to positive three X subtract four. Divide everything by positive 2. Y is equal to a, an improper fraction, which means it's going to be going uphill pretty steep. And then at the back, it's going to have a subtract 2. So M is 3 over 2, which again, we've already talked about is uphill and pretty steep. And B is negative 2. So once you have that finalized, then you do your graph. Again, if you notice, it's not a very big coordinate plane. So let's see what we can fit on it. Starting at the origin, I find my y-intercept, which again is 0, negative 2, which is here. Then according to my slope, I'm going to count up 3, up 1, 2, 3, right 1, 2. Doing it again, up 1, 2, 3, right 1, 2. And you can kind of see what it's going to hit. Or you can do your backwards thinking, down 1, two, three, left, one, two. And right here, as soon as you connect your line with your arrows, it will be touching letter P. It's exactly what we want. Remember, if you do your graphing and it doesn't touch one of the letters, then obviously you did something wrong. 
So you're going to be awesome to finish up the remaining problems. Top section, remember, just rewriting. Move the X, then divide. Bottom section, everything involved. Be awesome.